Okay, so this is uh, question number 20 from section 8.1. As you can see here, find the volume of the solid generated by revolving the region in the first quadrant bounded by the coordinate axis, the curve y equal e to the power x, and the line x equal ln3, about the line x equal ln3. Okay, so let's look at here. Oh. I did this problem with x equal ln line okay so instead of ln 3 let's assume that this is a uh, ln 9 okay but that's the same idea so so uh, the curve is given which is y equal e to the power x and then uh, the region is bounded by y equal e to the power x and then line x equal ln 9 I'm taking 9 but it could be 3 or 14 or something else now, when this region, you know, revolve around this line x equal to ln, uh, it will create some kind of uh, structure. We would like to find out the volume of that structure. So what we can do is we can use the cell method. If you just use one piece of it, and if you revolve around this uh, x equal ln 9 line, then it will create this, um, uh, this uh, cylindrical cell. And then we know, um, you know, the the area of the cylindrical cell is two pi times two pi r times height, two pi r, which is a circumference times height, gives you the area. And if you integrate all this area from x equal to zero to x equal to l n, that gives you the volume. So uh, we need to find out. We need to use this formula. Volume is two pi using this uh, cylindrical cell method uh, radius time height and these are the limits for the integration in this case the radius means you know the radius of the cylinder which is distant if you if you find the difference between x equal ln 9 which is this distant minus x which is distant from here 0 to this point if you subtract x from ln 9 that gives you the radius that that gives you this part so if you subtract x which is this part coming from here to here subtract from ln 9 which is from here to here the difference would be your radius of the cylinder and height is y coordinate of the cylinder as you can see here so the radius is ln 9 minus x the height is e to the power x which is y. So if you plug this value here, it's a 2 pi uh, radius times height. Uh, and now the range of x, x is ranging from 0 to ln of 9. So that's what we're going to plug here. 0 to ln 9, the radius is ln 9 minus x times e to the power x. So we users have to find out the integration here. When we find the integration, we have to make sure that the integration of x times e to the power x is x times e to the power x minus e to the power x which is limit uh, the integration by parts okay so I'm going to use this fact here while finding the integration the integration for the first part is ln 9 times e to the power x minus integration for x times e to the power x is this one which is x e to the power x this minus and minus from here makes it plus e to the power x and now by using the fundamental theorem the limit of integration is from 0 to ln of 9. I'm going to put x equal ln 9 first. So ln 9 times e to the power, replace this x by ln 9, minus this x by ln 9 times e to the power ln 9, plus e to the power ln 9, minus, now you have to put 0 for x. So 0 here, 0 here, and 0 here. That gives us, ln 9 times e to the power 0 plus 0 times e to the power 0 minus e to the power 0. So here after simplification, ln 9 e to the power ln, they are just cancel out and gives you the 9 minus ln times 9 plus this is actually 9 and this is e to the power 0 is 1 so this is minus ln 9. This term is 0, 0 times something is 0 minus e to the power 0 means it's 1. So as you can see here, this 9 times ln 9, ln 9, and 9 times ln 9, they are opposite, so we can cancel it. So 9 minus 1 is 8, 
8 minus ln 9. So that is the volume, you know, created by this uh, y equal e to the power x and x equal ln 9 um, line. But here in the problem here, it's x equal ln 3. By mistake, somehow I just uh, did this problem using ln 9. So, but it's the same idea. Okay. So I hope, uh, you know, it's going to help you to understand this problem.